Today, we're going to look at our vice president, Kamala Harris, and we're going to see what she had to say as it relates to Roe v. Wade being overturned in slavery. I can't make this stuff up. Let's go. Lady Harris, let's see what you got to say. We know, NAACP, that our country has a history. Did she say NAACP? I've never heard anybody say NAACP. I, I've never heard it before, but maybe I'm just picking. I might be just picking. Jason, you're just being petty. Sorry. History of claiming ownership over human bodies. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we 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 had that pat. That history is there. Got you. And today, extremist so-called leaders are criminalizing doctors and punishing women for making healthcare decisions for themselves. Is that what Ro is that what we're doing? Is that what's going on? When we're saying that little lives should not be sacrificed because of rape or incest or any other reason for convenience, when they're saying that babies should maybe not be killed and murdered for convenience. Is that what I mean that's it. Personal decisions that is her right to make in consultation with her doctor, her pastor, her priest, her rabbi, her loved ones, not her government telling her what to do. That's interesting because Kamala Harris was not saying that in 2020 when the same hers were not wanting to do other things, medical procedures and the such. And then maybe they talked to their pastors and they didn't want to do it. She wasn't saying that then. I just, maybe, maybe she forgot. And these so-called leaders. So I like how she she she's quick to call them so-called leaders. So calling into question their leadership style. If somebody said that about her and maybe like her handling of the border, her handling of um, or rather the administration's handling of other issues, so-called, they would be up in arms. But she can call them so-called because they decided that, well, the Supreme Court decided that rightly so, that baby murder should not be an option for a civil society. And wants states, which I think they did not go far enough, they want the states to make that decision. I don't understand what Kamala Harris is so in arms about. So called claim that, well, you know, mm -mm. we just think that this is a decision that should be made by the folks in the states. People in the states can vote on this. Okay, people in the state can vote on this. Is that not really just one step lower than the government, the federal government deciding it? Is that not just one step lower? I guess. Right. But at this moment, many of those same so-called leaders are the same ones who are passing laws to restrict the ability of people to vote. What she said right there is not only flame bait, it's just bad ideology. She's saying that we're, that show me a law that's restricting the ability for somebody to vote. Show me. And I'll just wait. You can comment down below, show me a link, send me a link, whatever, mm -hmm. that they are impeding someone from voting and saying that you cannot vote. Let me, let me know where that is. I will gladly get on this mic and turn on my camera and acknowledge that I've missed something. But What's even grosser and what really needs to be looked at is the fact that Kamala Harris is willing to say that slavery and chattel slavery that we're familiar with here in the United States, because Lord knows they won't let us forget it, and the the quote-unquote right to murder a baby are the same thing. Wow. That's what she said. That was her opening salvo. So everything else besides after that really just became foolhardy because that is the a gross overgeneralization, gross misrepresentation and the such. But that's our vice president. Yo, hit that like for deal with Christian. Yo, for deal with Christian. Just smash that bell. For DMC. Yo, smash it. Just smash it. Hit that like for deal with Christian. For deal with Christian. Just smash that bell. For DMC. Yo, smash it. Just smash it. It's a life for a devil, Christian.